I think it's a breathtaking exhibition and certainly from the moment that you enter and you're surrounded by Yvonne Kulmatri's magnificent baskets, those beautiful works from the Tiwi Islands, Pedro Wanamiri, you have this wonderful sense of lightness and majesty and seriousness in terms of the longevity of the culture that really hits you as soon as you move into the space and then it just gets deeper and richer from that point onwards. So I think it's a terrific exhibition. You've got 30 serious contemporary Australian artists, all of whom are Indigenous, all of whom are producing work that can resonate around the world. So what we have in this exhibition is a real diversity of stories told through multiple mediums. And we have a combination of artists who have gone through art school um, and have been trained in particular medium, but we also have our remarkable cultural leaders who English is probably a third language, so no art school, no understandings of art, Western art history, and yet their aesthetic and their artwork just uh, explodes off the wall in ways that we're still trying to comprehend. So we have works, sculptural works in metal, we have sculptural works made out of organic material, um, we have you know, paintings on canvas, we have photographs, we have audio-visual. I mean it's, it's really uh, an indicator of where our artists are in, their, in terms of their art practice. So how does the National Gallery tell this complex story is through remarkable events like this, remarkable exhibitions where we say contemporary artists, who are they, where are they, what are they working in and what's their story and what do they want to share with us? I think for Australia these exhibitions are absolutely critical and this is the most important work that the National Gallery of Australia can do be the leading institution that supports, fosters and exhibits and interprets Indigenous art for all Australians and for the world. To be doing that with leadership from Indigenous curators and artists all the way through. So I think this is absolutely vital for Australia but it's vital for the world and the world responds to Indigenous art in Australia. When you, when you look at the artwork, I think you can really be enticed. Wow, this work, what is it about? And when you look further, you can actually see that sometimes these stories are about identity and about survival. Sometimes they're about dispossession and segregation. Sometimes they're about, you know, being uh, stereotyped and, and artists operating and jumping out of that stereotype. I think we're at a point when we look at Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art history, we are seeing that artists feel a real desire to communicate their culture and their stories. We see on a daily basis in our company at West Farmers, Australia's single biggest employer, we see the challenges faced by Indigenous people economically every day at a very grassroots level. But we, see, but we also recognise culturally and as a society such opportunities for all of us as Australians. We want to go down that path together. And I think also with a company like West Pharmacists that had a very long interest and history in supporting the arts broadly, performing arts and as well as the visual arts, and with a very long standing and, and beautifully rich repository of Australian art in the West Summers Art Collection, Indigenous art has always been at the heart of that. It's a journey that we feel that we can go on with the National Gallery as, this, as the country's preeminent collecting institution. And we feel the gallery wants to spearhead that work. And the gallery is the most important institution collecting wise and the fostering of culture and reflecting Australians back to themselves and to the world. So it's, it's a wonderful partnership to be able to work with an organisation that is, is committed to that very democratic role that art needs to play in Australian society and can play in Australian society today.